there was a tense moment for family and some government officials who had gathered at the airport awaiting the arrival of the remains of Professor Kufi Awuno. Traditional award dance and songs were on display to welcome the body. The plane landed a few minutes after 12 noon with the military standing by on the tarmac to give the late professor a state recognition. It was an emotional scene when the wounded son of the late professor walked to the gathering after the plane landed. The ceremony then began with incantations, which according to the family, were requested by the late professor before his death. These were followed by customary and traditional rites. <laughs> Professor Kofi Anidoho, a close friend and family of the late professor, referred to Professor Wuno as an ancestral warlord who was reincarnated. Those who know Professor Wuno very, very well and can conduct an effective biometric verification may notice a slight scar on his forehead. He was born with that scar. And what he told me once upon a time was that when he was born, as is usually done in our area, the elders went to consult to find out which ancestor it is who has come back home. And the particular ancestor who was identified as one he, has, he had reincarnated was a brave man who had died in battle. They then sang a traditional farewell song to bid their beloved a final goodbye. <laughs> The family will hold the first funeral ceremony on Thursday, the 3rd of October, according to our traditions, after which a state's event will be held on Friday, October 11, to enable members of the public to pay their last respect to Professor Kofi Awuno. Per Professor Awuno's request, he will be laid to rest at his hometown November 9. Professor Kofi Awuno was killed in a terrorist attack on Westgate Shopping Mall in Nairobi, Kenya. His body has since been deposited at a private funeral home awaiting burial.